I'm Scott Allen Miller and this is my daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today we're going to be doing a barrio walk. I love doing these. You guys really like them and it's great for me to get some exercise. We are going to be doing the Northern Reparto or Barrio or Neighborhood. No one is 100% sure what this one is and it has no markers to the best of my knowledge. I've been all over it and I've never found one. This is La Providencia. It is also the region that could be known as Heroes and Martyrs of the 15th of September 1978. Yes, that's a long name. That is its historic marker in the middle of it. We will show it to you as we go by. It's very small, but it'll give you an idea of why it is what it is. This is the neighborhood that celebrates the day of the falling of Carlos Canales, which is a neighborhood that I show quite often and film in, is the neighborhood he is from, which is actually named after him. Okay, they came really close intentionally. Uh, and uh, So we are on 11th Avenue all the way north. So behind me, you have the outer extents of the city. There's no more Leon back there. You have wild countryside. You have some rolling hills. And this is an area, as we walk, you're going to see, would be absolutely beautiful. It is a nice barrio. It is an interesting, lively area in the north side of Sutiava. It's part of the Sutiava zone, not part of the Leon zone. But the one thing that's going to catch you, at least on 11th, is famous for how bad the litter and trash problem is. This is one of the parts of the city that is absolutely horrible. And so you were just gonna, I mean, we're just gonna start with that. But you can also imagine if they were to clean up this area, if they were to really do something about that, there's a lot of potential for this to be a beautiful area. Over here, when we start, we're gonna have a area that's walled off. It looks like a giant park when you're on the map, but you can't really get to it. There is a park over in Heroes and Martyrs of Saragossa, which is that way. And I'm gonna show you in just a second the walk through to 10th, and it will appall you. So there's definitely some negatives out here, but we have beautiful paved roads. It's a nice neighborhood. It's got good trees. It has potential. This is an area that the city needs to grow in and improve. But we're going to get to all that right after the buck. Okay, guys, this is looking north. This is this is the walled off thing that I, I don't really know. And then we have a high ground here. So this gets really steep. And look at all this trash. This is just crazy, but that's nothing. So on Google Maps, they show this, and we're gonna take just a pause here for a second. They showed this as a road going through, and clearly it's not, if you look. This is a wash on the left, a little tiny dirt path on the right, and that is a hill covered in garbage. It is the famous 10th Street Garbage Hill. Uh, so we're gonna stop and bring up a map so you can see exactly where we are to get this whole party started. So we're looking east as we're looking at the Garbage Hill. And we turn forward. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, this is just appalling. And I don't know what to tell you. It is. It is appalling. The road is nice. The landscape is nice. We actually have a beautiful day. I got a nice breeze. And it is a nice reparto once we get into it. But this part on 11th, I just, I don't know. I think because there's no houses and these walls, people are like, no one lives here. And they just can quietly dump trash over in the left. This is listed on the map as the Colegio uh, Pureza de Maria, which is the same as the one on the Ponaloya Road. So I'm not really clear if this is just a second campus here in town. When we come around on 10th, you'll get to see it. There is a little bit of motorcycle traffic here. People do use this road to head out into the open, wild countryside to the north. So that is a thing. We're going to get some exercise today. Ooh, we got some wind. There might be a storm rolling in. It's already making it really pleasant out here. It is very nice. We have a doggy joining us today. And then if you didn't have enough trash before, let's just show you the trash here. Yeah, today's a tour of trash. We're looking over at the neighborhood of Los Jardines. So we're gonna be doing that on a future episode. I wanna cover a lot of these northern barrios and neighborhoods that we haven't really well covered before. This is still the school on the left. Cute dog hiding down in the grass. You can really tell if it wasn't for the trash, it'd be really nice. Small amount of upkeep, and this would be quite a lovely road. But it is hard to get over the trash. This is a nice house with a lot of shade. And of course, this area is really quiet because of the school across the street. Got a bit of a hill I'm climbing here. 
All right, here we go. This is the marker. Here's a martyr's 15th of September, 1978. Normally, those will also denote a community name, but to the best of my knowledge, it's just La Providencia. So these houses are right against the south side of the school. We have a really nice church over here. I don't think this was here or it wasn't in the state that it is the last time I took a walk in this area with you guys. Well, you can see in there, it's got a nice, there's no seats. I don't know what they're doing, but lots of standing room, lots of open windows, open front, well done everything. Like it's really attractive with a big handicap accessible ramp. Got some cute houses here. Got a, I think, battery dealer on the left. Restaurant on the right. What is are these? Got a small pulperia on the right. Mostly just a place to recharge your phones. They got some nice plants in there. Oh, nice. All right. Any place that's doing business up where we just were, they have to really struggle because they're up past the cross streets. So the only traffic is either people intentionally going out there or people coming in from the countryside, which is not zero. Actually nice cross streets here, heading towards Los Jardines. Spot on the left has a lot of nice bushes. Got a clothing store and shoe store here. And a bank agent. And on the left is a pharmacy. And on the right, a Fulpria. Buenas. So you can do quite a bit in this little part. That's a pharmacy there in the white and the slightly yellow with a cute dog is a natural remedies uh, store. No tengo nada, lo siento. I do have to point out that was someone begging. And obviously he's not in the street begging, he's just begging because I'm coming by. It's always in these barrios, these northern really Really far north, Sutiava is the only place where I've had that really happen on the street like that. And it just happened again. So there's something up here. Makes the culture a little bit different. This house on the left, pretty confident I filmed that couple years ago and they had like a big hole going down to a basement that you couldn't believe pretty sure that was the house cute place here on the left look what they did with that very nice got a polaris Ooh, that's a nice side by side a 
<laughs> that's the fuel delivery. This house on the right is for sale right now. <laughs> Buenas! That one where they waved. The house is for sale. This one, the beans are for sale. And we have another little tiny pulperia on the left and yet another tiny pulperia on the left. So if anyone is looking for a very small barrio house in Providencia, we know of one that you could probably get into right away. This neighborhood, you can see it on the map. We're just a little bit north of the main body of Sutiava. So you're not far from things. You're a little bit off the main roads, but not bad at all. If you're looking for something slightly, slightly more out of the way, but not completely so, it's a good option. We should be, should be right at the bottom of La Providencia now. So we're gonna be back up. All right. So that was 11th that we just came down. We're heading east and we're gonna go back up on 10th. This road has one of the rather serious inclines in it. No big deal when you're walking, but if you're out in a car and you come pretty fast, these will ruin your day. This greenhouse is cute. Turning north again. This is 10th. We're heading back into La Providencia. Buenas. The house we're passing is pretty cute, but very small. There's a chicken store on the right. That is thunder rumbling. A lot of thunder rumbling.
Buenas. Sí. All right, another uh, pulperia. About just about every block has one. Many have more than just one. It's all gotten very still as the storm rolls in. Not exactly sure what the air vent hanging off the <laughs> railing is meant to be for. Decoration, I suppose. Oh, we got a wide open space here and a radio tower. If you're looking for a point of reference, there is a radio tower between 10th and 11th. We have another pharmacy here on the right coming up. It is also a, they call it a libraria, which directly translated would mean bookseller. But over the years, people stopped buying books and they started to become places where you get the other things like stationary supplies. So it's really a stationary store. When you see libraria, assume it is going to be a stationary store so school supplies is the thing that they are really known for and that is the Libraria Luciana. My daughter will appreciate that. This is a very interesting style here on the left and what do we got? Uh, car parts down there and that is a should be 11th we're seeing. Hola! <laughs> Buenas! And we got a cute doggy here. Oh, they're working on this house on the right. Oh, interesting. They took a big garage area and turned it into like a gated indoor garden space. That's really cool. Whew. It is nice out, but the humidity has picked up with the storm rolling in, so I'm starting to sweat. Okay, to the best of my knowledge, this wall is the northern point of the Colegio here, and that is the connector over to 11th. I think that is the last connector over to 11th before the wall of trash. Bit of music in the streets. Got another pulperia. We have a sidewalk there on the left. I have filmed a lot of this, but it has been years. So of course things have changed and I have a lot more information about what I'm looking at. <laughs> and I'm a bit less lost now. I remember very well doing this part and having no idea where I was, having no idea how I got here, not sure what the neighborhood was, how it connected. So very different. Okay, this is the Colegio Pureza de Maria Providencia. So the one by that I show all the time is de Sutiava. So even though this is part of Sutiava, this is the same general high school, but a different location. So that is what this wall is all along. We'll look in real quick. Oh, that is a big, nice school in there with a lot of stuff. They have a big roof and a lot of buildings and a basketball court I've never seen in there.
So for anyone who has kids, this is one of the schools that you would consider sending them to. This is a private school. Uh, Marcella went to one of the other campi uh, of this, the one in Managua. Ooh, that is a lot of thunder. But I really don't see where the storm is. I think we're hearing it from Chinandega. A little puppy on the, on the side over there. Buenas. You'll notice these signs. Definitely no dumping of trash. Fine of 5,000 Cordoba, which is about $1,200? Maybe $1,300? Not $1,300, I'm sorry. $120, $130. Obviously relatively new. And this is the wall of trash we're going to come by on the left. So you can see what we were seeing. So from 11th, Google calls this a road. And... Uh, it's actually a drain, which is why the trash is so bad. It's not that people dump their trash here. Clearly they do. But most of it is washing in from the storms and then collects in this wash. And you can see the edges are actually constructed to be part of the drain system. So that is what it's built for. So Google's a little bit, a little bit inaccurate as to what it is. But as you can see from our friend here, he just walked through and there is oh yeah we're gonna see you can get up and down and go over to 11th this way and if you're heading out into the countryside this might make sense it may speed you up a little bit but it's not the best walk All right. Providencia gets a bit more interesting here on 10th, 11th. It just winds into the country. We got a bit of music going on here. A bit of ripped up road. They got to get that fixed. Oh, that is a cute house over there on the corner. Hopefully we come back that. We got another pulperia over here. If you see Rifos, that is the lotto or like a lotto, some kind of some kind of sports gambling thing. I don't know the exact mechanism. Oh, they don't like this sweet doggy. Hi. Aha, we have a, we have a little sports area that people can use here. All right, this is the public, I'm sure, elementary school here. This is, I'm sure, part of the school over here. I am relatively confident. I have never gone down this hill on 10th. I've done it on 11th. <laughs> That's actually a pretty big, nice house there. And uh, this one has a big wall. Whoa, jeez. Oh, it's just in the... <laughs> I thought that dog was barking at me and I jumped and they're laughing at me. He was chasing the other dog. <laughs> it was right behind. <laughs> And we got another pulperia here. You made me jump, Dougie. Oh, smoking something back there. Oh, house hidden back behind a garden. This gets into a really interesting area, and this one on the left is really cute. So first of all, this one is a clothing store, not open at the moment. This one, they got some cute stuff going on. And there's another dog over here, and this barky one in the street. There's like five dogs on the street immediately where we are. Hi, little... Oh, you're a puppy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and another pulperia over here. You can get go fruit. Or G fruit. Is it? Is it the sea fruit? Oh, yes. Those are good, actually. And a cute little place here. I don't know if you can see. They've got a cute little patio thing going on. 
and uh, house with a wall there. It's funny, you come this far down on 10th and it feels like a completely different neighborhood. My gosh, okay, this one on the right, I like this. Check this out, I hope you can see they got like a little garden in the front and then it comes out here. And then here on the left, houses go down significantly because 11th is much lower than 10th. I think we're actually at the end of the road. I don't think this continues on. I think it just drops off into nothingness. And a uh, little place there, but then this green place is pretty, pretty big. And you see people put in their own sidewalks, even just for this little tiny itty bitty bit in front of their houses. And uh, I don't think we're continuing down this dirt path. Buenas! <laughs> this is definitely the end of the road right here. It just stops. <laughs> it turns into stone, and uh, this is where the storm water washes out to. So as you know, in Leon, we get really big storms, as you can hear one rolling in. And when it rains, you can see now as we're heading back how much lower we are than those upper streets. So in this part of the city, the water comes rushing through the city streets and is essentially unstoppable. So everything in the streets gets washed along and it can get quite dangerous at times. So part of the way of handling it is not to contain it in any way, but to as much as possible, allow it to flow and relieve pressure. And so that is, there are these washes and drains all over the city to keep it from backing up and keep it from flooding. Uh, but that means that the trash gets swept through the city and there's very little to slow it down. All right, we're going to turn off the camera for a minute, get back to an area where we can cross over to 9th and go explore on 9th. All right, this is the north end of 9th, and it gets really interesting. And uh, not 100% sure how we get to the main part of 9th from here. We're going to do our best. There are houses off to the left with little tiny bridges going over a little tiny stream. And you can see on the other side of the stream, there's a bit going on over there. This is like super interesting, but difficult to navigate. Let's go show a little bit of that stream going by as we walk by. If it wasn't for the trash, if this is all clean, this would be gorgeous. All it would take, oh, I say all it would take, buenas. All it would take is figuring out how to clean that up. And this would be like little tiny houses in Italy near the coast with a stream coming right through them. Like the Cinque Terre. But there's only a couple houses, but they would be highly desirable. Okay. So there's a couple choices. I think this must be the better one. Well, he made it through. We will follow his lead. Buenas. No tengo nada, lo siento. All right, this is the other side of that playground area. We can see it's much higher over there. A little chicken. So that's where we were. Right up there. Got a big house right there. More chickens. This is actually pretty cool. I'm in full-on explorer mode today. Ah, this is providing some of the water flowing through down there. That's why it's so heavy. 
we have a storm drain break. That must mean there's a storm somewhere else in the city and the water's coming up here. Buenas. Oh, got a big pulperia here on the right. They have a lot of things. All right. I'm going to check a map to figure out what we just did. Oh, that's a lot of water. Yeah, this is definitely the source of what we saw. Okay, so that was 9th that we just walked up. Or not really 9th. No, just little side streets. Okay, this is where the water goes into the wash and then goes down past those houses. And there's the trash that can't be avoided in these washes. But imagine this without the trash. If this water was clean, my gosh, this would be gorgeous. It would be so cool. There's more water coming this way as well. And people have made a little spot to cross over. All right. I could not get Google to give me a name of this street on the right. But it looks pretty cool. I kind of want to go that way. But first, let's just take a little peek at what we got down here. This is looking north. We got a little dirt path going up. It's not going to go very far. That's where those houses up above that we saw on that last little bit were. Okay, so we were just down there. This, this way looks a little bit more interesting. We're going to take this and get over to the real ninth. I've been wrong. We're not quite to ninth yet. Which explains why those roads are so small. <laughs> so this house on the right completely in a garden. And, oh, and there's a pulperia hidden in there. Pretty cool. Yellow house has some nice shrubbery. This must be the back of the school. Is it really that big? It's something. Definitely looks like a school. Oh, I like this tree I'm under. Very cute. Okay. So we could go up that hill, but we're going to go up this hill. We're heading east again. Buenas. Okay, that guy ran away. <laughs> he literally looked up, saw me with the camera, ran in his house and closed the door. Okay, the road in front of us goes and then stops so you can see the next road beyond it. A little bit weird. Okay, this must be the real ninth. So there it is from the south coming in from Sutiava, and here it is going north in La Providencia. These are, this may look good on film. Those are pictures of bricks, not actually bricks. <laughs> Literally wallpaper. I tell you, a little light drizzle would not be unappreciated. Big storm would not be nice. There, oh, there used to be a big mural on that wall, but it's covered up by that sheet, sheet metal. Buenas. Buenas. Right, got a big structure here. And this is that road we looked up. That must be the playground down there. I'm not pretty sure. And then it go goes off for real that way too. <laughs> Buenas. And a big pulperia here. 
Buenas. And uh, it looks like a hardware store maybe. And then a really small carniceria and libraria. A little bit of, oh, Veriadatis. So a little bit of everything. A lot of stores along here. And then the mini libraria, Angelitos, Little Angels. And then we have a little hamburger joint. On the left is actually a little shoe store. Una Zapateria. And a little tiny wash goes down to the other drain and heading over to the next road. Buenas. Now this is just an unmarked dirt road here on the left, but some cute places down there. And they've got an overlook of some other places. It's kind of cool. Then here's a side road, middle road. Comes up to here. And here's a really cute dog. Look at you. You're a cutie. Oh. Woo. I know. <laughs> he thinks I'm chasing him. Oh, got some cute spots down there, some nice houses. Actually, a good number of the houses down there look pretty cute. <laughs> I feel like someone's calling me, but I can't find them. We got another good sized road here, but I believe that we're looking at 8th. We're gonna bring up the map again. Oh, that big dog that barked at me took the food from that little dog. That is not cool. All right, we're going to stop for a second. Look at the map. Yes, this is 8th directly in front of us. So this road is the eastern side of Providencia and the other main road in the area. Now, if we take this to the left, it should take us to Reparto William Fonseca, where we were a week or two ago and did that really cool barrio walk out in the countryside. This is the other road where it connects from the west side if you keep coming down, I believe, where we had been. So we're gonna go off this way a little bit just because it's such a nice day. And uh, I'm actually gonna walk forward without the camera, give it a chance to cool down and then turn the camera on so you can see the walk back. Buenas! All right, we're about as far north on 8th as we can go. And we're turning around to head south again, so we gotta go up a little bit. Now, we did film all of this quite some time ago. It's gotta be at least two years. So we've been down these side streets and uh, we're heading southbound again, back towards the city. So you can go pretty far north on 8th, but it really turns into a pretty rough road. So you're not too likely to go that way over on the left. We got fields because there's a ravine over there. So this is where the ravine kind of cuts in and goes to Providencia. And then it gives a little bit more space. And the barrio Heroes y Martires de Sutia de Saragossa is gonna be forming over on our left, coming off this road. But for now, it's only Providencia up here. No buildings on the left. Now, if we look, I've done this exact thing before, walking up this little trail here on the side. gonna see what I mean I don't think this fence was here before but it like I said it's been a couple years there's the ravine those lights you see over there is the baseball stadium I wish this fence wasn't here I would take that path no question and then 
This is the radio tower over here. Can't really see it, but you can see the colors of the base. But so this gives you some bearings. We're looking at the stadium across the ravine. And then that roof you see kind of right there, I think is NL Vivero. And if it's not, it's right next to NL Vivero. This is the ravine that NL Vivero overlooks, but it really looks at Heroes y Martires de Saragossa, not La Providencia. But so that ravine creates a lot of why the north of Leon is shaped the way that it is. Everything has to blend us. Everything has to work around that ravine. Whew. All right. I'm getting a workout today. That's for sure. This humidity is not helping. It got humid without the rain. Buenas. All right, here on the left is that radio tower I was saying. Cell tower, I guess. I'm old, we still call them radio towers. I mean, technically Wi-Fi is a radio. Just not radio in your car radio. All right, got an egg dealer here on the right. Buenas. All right, on the left where these kids are playing in the yard, this is a church. It's actually quite attractive. Now we definitely showed this church the last time long ago. It's got a cute little yard. <laughs> Adio! When I came through before, she was like, don't go that way, it's dangerous. <laughs> Oh, there's a little tiny kitty. Oh, el gatito. All right, now we're on the part of 8th that's actually pavered. A bit of a different experience. Here's a place newly being built. It is really hard to say. It's going to be a big thing, though. Big property, outbuildings, tower in the back. Who knows what that's for? Nice yard, modern fencing. I can't tell when's the last time they worked on it. It might be current, might not be. And it's connected to this here. Very interesting. It's the kind of stuff I talk about. A lot of buenas. A lot of opportunity for finding an old place and doing something really, really interesting with it. Here's an open space that would have views of the old stadium. Now, not the new stadium. This is the current stadium. At the time that I'm recording this, they were just doing one or two nights ago, uh, stereo system, well, music system, sound system, and LED light tests at the stadium because they're getting really close to opening. <laughs> oh, cute doggies. So, in just a minute, we're going to be coming to the bottom of the last street in Providencia. It's not a big barrio, or it's maybe not a barrio. Not sure. Some of this, it could be a community dad, it could be a via. It doesn't have its designation in its name, so I'm not sure what kind of thing it is. It is a neighborhood of one sort or another. 
<laughs> that is a skinny two-story house. And their, their stairway is on the outside. Oh, cute place on the left. Potential, potentially cute place. Hola, buenas. Oh, here we go. This is the open field. Now this is Heroes and Marchers of Saragossa, not Providencia, but it's right up against it. So this is the, we talked about these fields where you can come do sports, where you can jog or whatever. So this is for North Central Leon. This is the big one. There's just some people out here practicing right now. You can see people riding bicycles around, but you can come out here. There's a path around. You can jog. You can go for a walk. You can do whatever you want. And a lot of times it's empty or not very many people. Now the playground right there on the other side of the fence actually has got like 30, 40 people in it. Like that's quite a few. There's a big crowd over there and then a, a bit of a crowd over here. And this is Campo Deportivo, so sports field. Honorarios Pastran. Then here is, here is the playground associated with it. Now again, this is Heroes of Martyrs of Saragossa. So different barrio, but cool spot. This is a slide, so you work your way up and then you can slide down in any direction. It's pretty funny. All right, let's head back to our, our barrio walk. We'll be doing this one. We have done it before. We will do it again on another occasion. Buenas. And uh, you can see the, see the volcanoes in the distance there. So we are coming to the end of Providencia, as I was saying. Hope you guys enjoyed this barrio walk. Neat little area. A lot of unexpected things are different. Hard to predict. As we come down here, we're coming back into Sutiava proper. Oh, this doggy with its orange harness. You're so cute. Buenas! Uh, this is very different. This white and blue over here. Oh. Kind of cute over here on the left and over on the right. All right, guys, that does it for me. We're coming out of Providencia. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. Keep one on the left. If you'd like to help support the channel, ooh, clothing store in the corner. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. Really means a lot to me and helps promote the channel. Does a lot to help us cover the cost of all the things we do. This is a ferreteria on the corner here. I'm going to be heading back into the neighborhood. Hopefully get more footage for you guys later. It's for now. I'm going to sign off and I will see all of you tomorrow.